ghost of the old farmhouse. She was used to seeing and hearing things in the house, nothing scary. Then one night, she saw a full-bodied silhouette of a man in that very house. Welcome to Real Ghost Stories Online. Call in your real ghost story now at 855-853-4802 or write in at realghoststoriesonline.com. You are about to enter the world of the unknown and quite possibly the undead. This is Real Ghost Stories Online. That indeed it is. 855-853-4802 is our phone number to call in to Real Ghost Stories Online. Share your real ghost stories with us. Of course, you can also write in at realghoststoriesonline.com. And uh, if you want access to all of our bonus episodes, we got it for you on Apple Podcasts on our exclusive channel there or patreon.com slash realghoststories if you're not on Apple Podcasts to get access to all of that. Tony and Carol Hughes with you on today's episode of the program. And there's spooky things. Uh, I saw a spooky video the other day. I know you did too, of a Lana Del Rey concert, which is interesting because uh, the girls in my house just saw her the other week too. Yeah. Did did Harper already go to the show? Because I know I couldn't remember if she was coming up or Mm -hmm. if she'd already gone. Yeah, it was the other week. Okay. So the video is just weird. So I was reading something about it and some people were like, it's demonic. Uh-huh. It's negative energy thing. But it's all these hundreds of people falling down. It's great. At the show. It was like a wave of people. Mm-hmm. They just fell down, then they fell down, and they fell down, and they fell down. It was the weirdest thing. Mm-hmm. And it, so I don't... Do you think it was demonic? I don't know. It was a very weird occurrence. Can you you look at the the crowd and the way that... that um, the the tumbling and it wasn't like really tumbling it was almost just like everybody backed up or like there was a wave of energy that went over everybody and I, my only thought was you know was there like a big gust of wind that came through and everybody was kind of reacting to it at the same time or as it went through that would make some sense to me that does happen it was an outdoor venue i believe uh so maybe but it, it was it was weird it was certainly weird uh, I, I don't. I, I just was introduced into Lana Del Rey music uh, a couple of weeks ago when I knew that uh, Harper was going, uh, and so I started listening. It's like it's the most depressing music <laughs> I've ever heard. Maybe that's it. They're all depressing. Like, like oh what? All right, what's the attraction to this? Like, I'm sad. I'm sad. I'm Here's going to be a song. victim in my songs, and you can all relate and. We can all be victims together. And feel like, that's not what it's like. Well, you know, I'm telling you on the surface, it really is. Um, but it's uh, it's sad girl music, without a doubt. But there always has been that sort of stuff. Uh, I don't know. It was weird. It was certainly weird. It was I- weird. And they said it was called a progressive cloud collapse. Mm-hmm. And it says where the momentum of one person knocking into another increases significantly. And the guy said, the crowd analysis expert, did you know that those exist? Um, <laughs> G. Keith Still. Of course, whatever, there's that's a cr- your name. crowd analysis yeah. expert. There is a <laughs> it's called expert witnesses. Just and they're like, you got to be called that in, in your step. back pocket, Tony, in yep. case you ever need to, a crowd analysis expert. You never know. It's when I, I, well, you know, I could actually probably use it over on True Crime every now and then because it's like, <laughs> right, we need an expert in this. Find it. Uh, but. <laughs> Yeah, I. He said, I think the phrase domino effect is quite appropriate. Okay, so I get all that. Mm -hmm. But it seems like I've been at a million outdoor venues and shows (laughs) in the pit. People are standing up, thousands of people behind you. And I usually have to stay to one side because I'm five foot two. Mm -hmm. But um, because I'm really short, I can't see really close unless I'm really close. But say I fell down and I fell into the guy behind me. Chances are he's not going to fall down. So was it like, I'm just trying to, like, how did the thing get started? I understand the concept of progressive crowd collapse, but how did like 10 people fall over at the same time and they pushed 20 people over? I mean, how did it start? It's very weird watching That's the weird part to me. How did it start? 
Because it wouldn't start with just one person falling down. That person no. wouldn't have enough momentum. I get how once people start falling down, that momentum would increase as it goes back, I mm -hmm. would guess. And more people falling down. But how does it start? Did like and and even if it was ten people falling down at the same time, why did they all fall down at the same time? Or and I'm watching a video right now, another a wider shot of it from higher up. And, and it's, it's like tell. it's like a wave that just goes through. Mm -hmm. But but what gets me about it is like the wave doesn't seem to start like it's not like a bowling pin where it's like there's a triangle and it starts one place. It almost seems to start as like a giant line simultaneously. That's what it looks like. Which yeah. is weird about it because I, I get the bowling pin analogy where it would fan out, but this isn't that. It, it's not fanning out that way. It's like they're all simultaneously in one large line being affected by something. And then all of a sudden it's boom. It's like everyone down in one line in a massive fashion. I don't know. It's very bizarre. I think the thing that, um, cause I'm reading the explanations about it. Yeah. Um, but it doesn't say how it started. Like I get how, why that happened once the first, you know, I get that. Mm -hmm. But how did it start? That's what I want to know. Did the people step on, was there an exposed electrical cord or something? And they all stepped on it. And... I don't know. She's a witchy woman. Ooh, 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 witchy ooh. woman. I don't know. I, I, I don't think it was demonic, but it was weird without a doubt. Let's go to our first to call her at 855-853-4802. Hi. Hi, everyone. This is Chris from Kentucky again. I thought I'd call with a couple more ghost stories from my old farmhouse. Um, so I called before about being washed when we moved in, and the gentleman, quote, gentleman, asking him to help me with the dog food. Um, today, I'll tell you about the shadow person I saw. So first of all, um, this, like I said, this was an old farmhouse. I was built in the 1890s. Um, I'm sure there have been a lot of birth there, probably a few deaths there. Wouldn't be surprised. Um, when, and we've done a lot of remodeling to this place as well, obviously. And I have noticed, and it's not unusual <laughs> from what I've heard. Um, oh, by the way, I am driving, so any weird noises is just me driving. Um, I have noticed that whenever we do a major project, things amp up a bit. We've lived there for 13 years now. I'm, I'm kind of used to everything, and most of it's really not scary. But I have noticed over the years that when we're doing a, a project, um, I'll start noticing more things happen. I'll start noticing the footstep. We, uh, it's a two-story house. So you'll hear foot when I'm the only person in the house and I know where my animals are, footsteps going up and down the stairs. Um, things peeking out at you. Not I say things. Probably... Um, uh, shadows, just, just out of the corner of your eye that you see peeking out around the corner, just looking in. Um, and those things, that type of thing ramps, ramps up a lot when we're doing doing construction. I have realized over the years that if I, when we're starting a project and things are all torn apart, I tell them. I say, hey, you know, this is what we're doing. I'm, we're still taking good care of the house. This is what we're doing. This is what we're going to do. This is why we're doing it. Um, just bear with me and it'll look great when we're done. It settles down just a little bit. Um, the, the, the feeling of being washed again, that kind of also intensifies during those periods. Settles down again. And I don't see as many things out the corner of my eye. Um, so that, that does help. And if you're experiencing that, that might help you. I don't know, listeners. Uh, now the shadow person. So one night, uh, our, 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 um, Bedrooms are on the second floor. And one night, I have no idea, it was middle of the night, it was dark. I woke up and needed to go downstairs. And I went down the first the first set of stairs to the landing, turned the corner for the landing, and at the bottom of the hallway, at the bottom of the stairs in the hallway, very clearly, it, I, there were no lights on, but it must have been a, a pretty uh, a bright night. Uh, just the moon must have been pretty bright. And there is, our front door is there in that hallway, too. So that hallway is, was fairly well lit for, for being nighttime. 
I, as I rounded the corner, I looked down and just as plain as day was the black outline of, I'm going to say it was a man just because the way he was dressed. I couldn't see any features. It was just like a silhouette, but it was full length, full, full, you know, head to toe, um, of a person in like a bowler hat and a uh, like a duster jacket that went all the way down past the knees and you could i could very rarely very clearly see this outline and he was simply crossing in front of the bottom of the stairs um as if he was going to go into our dining room whose entrance is also at the bottom of the stairs so he just passed the, the bottom of the stairs walked right by and i stopped and i I, I stopped and I just kind of stared there for a second because he just disappeared. Uh, he didn't open the door and then he just disappeared into the into nothing, into the wall. And uh, I just stopped and stared and sat there and thought, what what could what could that have been other than what it very obviously was? Was it a shadow? No, uh, there's nothing to cast a shadow here really. Um, it was very very clear what it was. I went ahead and went downstairs. I. It didn't feel scary. It felt odd, but it didn't feel threatening. Uh, so I, I waited for a second to see if I'd see anything else. Didn't see anything else and went down the bottom of the stairs, got my drink, did my business, went back upstairs, saw nothing else, went back to sleep. And that's my shadow person. That's the only time I've actually seen a full-bodied anything. I've seen things peek around corners, you know, just little, little smudges around corners. Um, I've heard things, but that's that's the first time I saw a full bodied anything. Up until two days ago, I would have said that's the only time I've seen a full bodied anything, but I did have something else happen a couple of days ago that I will call back about. So thank you. Have a good day. I am an EPP and I, I've been listening to this for years. Absolutely love the podcast and love all the new hosts. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you for sharing uh, that experience with us. I would like to hear more about what happened too in the full-bodied experience that she mentions there. So brave. Yeah. Because she's on her way, I guess, just to get a drink of water and go to the bathroom in the middle of the night and sees that and then continued on to get her glass of water and go to the bathroom. I would have been running back to my bedroom because that's just me. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid of shit like that. But that would have scared the crap out of me. Yeah. Uh, but she was just like, she was so calm and cool about it. Like, well, still got to get the water, you know? I'm thirsty <laughs> and I do have to go to the bathroom. And I mean, if you got to go to the bathroom, you got to go. Yeah. No, I get it. I get it. I, I, for a while, I don't know what it was. I, I don't do this anymore, but there was like some years, I want to say like in my early 20s, where I remember when I get up at night to use the restroom. And obviously there's mirrors in a bathroom. I always like really made a point not to look in the mirrors. I was always like kind of this day. Really? <laughs> yes. I, in fact, uh, Kathy and I were talking about it on an episode, I don't know, a week or two ago. And I'm like, when I go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, I don't look up. <laughs> I only look down because I have a light on in another room. So yeah. there's light in my house. And um, so it's not like a bright light. But if it was a shadow person, I could sure see it. Sure. And so Kathy's like, oh, my God, I can't go to the bathroom. She goes, I can't have any lights on at night because I'm afraid I'll see something and that I won't see it if it's dark. <laughs> Interesting. God, we're hot messes. Yeah. You won't see it if it's dark. So keep the lights off and run off. into things. And I'm like, I need the light on because... I want to, I don't know if I have to jump up in the middle of the night, I want to see something mm -hmm. and you never know. And but Kathy's like, no, no, only dark. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> do I can't do it. But you know, I think it's interesting because I've heard this from other people who live in haunted places or, you know, maybe they work in a haunted theater or whatever, yeah. but they've done the same thing when they're doing work around the property that they tell, it's like, okay, we're going to be remodeling the kitchen. And I love how she just lets it known. Here's what's going to be happening. Everything's going to be disrupted for a little bit, but it's going to be great. Mm -hmm. But other people have said the same thing, that when they do it without me. Without what? There's more activity. Mm -hmm. And if you make it known, they're like, hmm, we might not like it, but okay. <laughs> We'll bear with you. 
I'm just going to continue to not think about it when I use the bathroom at night. <laughs> I, that's what I've been doing. Like, I don't even, doesn't even oh, go Darren, there anymore. Well, tonight you're going to get up to go to the bathroom. I, I will. And I'll be like, shit, there's going to be a shadow and person. I will be creeped coat. out. No, it's more like <laughs> I'm just really, really tired. But yeah, my mind at some point is just, it's done for the day. <laughs> All right. Uh, that wraps up this episode of Real Ghost Stories Online. If you want access to the bonus material, Apple Podcasts is where you can get that. Or patreon.com slash real ghost stories until next time for carol and tony thanks for listening to real ghost stories online